Hello, thank you guys so much for coming to this video today. I really appreciate it. This is going to be an awesome video. I hope you enjoyed the last one this week. It's full of news. Normally I used to do these videos. They're called weekly recaps where I sum up, sum up all the information that you've missed in the last week. Cardano is moving too dang fast. I actually am going to do two weekly recaps this week. So it's really not even a weekly recap, but I have great content, so I think you guys will enjoy this. We're gonna be talking about another parameter update coming to Cardano, so Cardano's scaling. What does this mean? What is the parameter update later in this video? We're also gonna be talking about Grayscale. A deal's a deal. They actually invested a lot of money into Cardano, so we got institutional investors coming into ADA, and this isn't the top 10. This is actually a different investment from Grayscale, so it's, it's huge, huge. We also have an update from CC Wallet. Big update coming to CC Vault, the second rebrand. Uh, it's gonna be a great video. If you stay till the end, you'll be entered into a giveaway. So make sure you stay till the end. I'll give you a few things to comment down below. And if you do that, you'll be entered into a giveaway. What are we gonna do today? Let's do, let's do 250 men tokens. 250, big bands. So let's jump into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. So first things first, the parameter update. Honestly, one of the things I'm most excited for, I love to see these parameter updates. Cardano was very congested in January and a little there into February, but we saw a couple parameter updates and I don't, th congestion seems like a thing of the past, but as you guys all know, when a new project launches or we get some more users, we could see some you know congestion issues again. So I'm very happy to see these updates. So this is directly from the creators of Cardano IOG parameter update. Today, an update proposal has been submitted, this will trigger an increase in per block Plutus script memory unit limits. And this is from 56M to 62M. This change will take effect on the main not epoch boundary of the 24th or the 21st, so that's already happened. This incremental adjustment is the latest in a continuing series of optimizations and increases to network capacity that are being made to Cardano. So we've had a lot of Plutus script memory increases and block size increases. Those are really the two main things that are gonna stop congestion. So what is a Plutus script memory increase? What does this mean? So a Plutus script is what the smart contracts on Cardano are called. In these Plutus scripts, you have a limit on how much data is allowed in one of these scripts before it can execute. So the greatest example that I always tell people is looking at Sunday swap or men swap. What they actually do is they take multiple swaps and put them all in one transaction to deal with congestion, right? So let's say I swap for some, you know, Sunday tokens, you do as well, your buddy does as well, and we all do that at the same time. What Sunday swap does is they scoop up all of those transactions and they put them in one transaction to make it, you know, more efficient to use less data on the blockchain. And what this does is it actually allows more of those swaps in one transaction, making Cardano more efficient, allowing more data in these Plutus scripts. Institutional investors are getting into ADA Cardano, and actually this is Grayscale. And you know, in the past, there was actually a Grayscale fund, and it was really just the top 10 tokens at all times. So Grayscale has actually had a little bit of ADA in the past. However, this is a much larger investment into Cardano because you know they chose Cardano as really uh, the largest smart contract platform that they're interested in investing in, which is pretty cool. So what is Grayscale real quick? Grayscale is the world's largest digital currency asset manager. And today they announced the launch of the smart contract platform fund. And uh, this is pretty exciting. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. We'll see what we got going on today. Cardano, and this is the largest, right? You know, Solana is shortly behind, but 24, 0.63% into Cardano. So anyone that invests in this fund, 24.63% is gonna be invested in to ADA. And let's hear what they had to say about this. And this is directly from Jody Gunsberg. Many investors allocated to ETH given its explosive growth over the past year. So now there is demand to get exposure across the rest of the smart contract platform sector. And this is actually open for daily subscription by eligible individual and institutional accredited investors. So the only way you can purchase this if, it, if you're an institution or an individual accredited investor. However, I'm very happy to see it, especially with Cardano being number one there, Solana shortly thereafter. Um, you know, no financial advice, but 
I, I love, you know, cryptocurrency. I, I, although I make videos about Cardano solely, I'm not, you know, a, a maximalist. You know, I'm, I'm happy to invest in, you know, any layer one blockchain aiming to build infrastructure for the future. Cardano is just, it just so happens that that's what I like the most in terms of the future, the vision, you know, what's already been built, the community and Grayscale sees the exact same thing that I do. Because when I look at this list, uh, you know, while I don't, I'm not a big fan of Solana because the network crashes, the community there seems manufactured. A lot of the other layer ones on this list, I would definitely be interested in. Avalanche, Polkadot, Polygon, Algorand, and Stellar. Of course, they're all great. However, Cardano is clearly the king there. And, you know, one of the reasons is we're not reusing Solidity smart contracts like many of the other layer ones on this list. You know, Cardano is aiming to do something different than the other layer ones, and um, it's doing it doing it different you know it's not like three or four years ago when it's like cardano will be different it is different it's happening now and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it so let's go on to the next part of the video so this is some juicy juicy cardano news but it's not happening just yet we have about six months this is the rare bloom it is an in-person cardano event be there or be square it's being hosted by me and a few of my other partners it is going to be the biggest and best event ever hosted for Cardano. I went to the Bitcoin conference last year and I must say, I didn't like it. My friends weren't there. If I got a booth there, who would even come? Who would come up to my booth and talk to me about Cardano? Nobody would. And the booths there were like thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. I wanted to bring that, but much cheaper and a much better experience to the Cardano community. So when you go to the booths, it's guys that you know, like Sunday Swap, like Claymates, like uh, Input Output, like Ben Gortzel is coming to the event. Everyone that I just listed is going to be at this event so why haven't you purchased your ticket? Uh, really though, this is a you know grassroots community event. I'm trying to bring value to the community. I'm trying to cultivate culture, and I need you to do so. You know, uh, we're gonna have uh, a lot of educational opportunities, networking opportunities for people, and we're gonna try to get the best in the game at this event. You can come to the website here for more information. You can see some of them. We got Liquid Finance coming, Charlie Three, Singularity Net, Singularity DAO. Really, a whole host of awesome people. NFT Maker, Cornucopias, and the list is growing every day. So I hope. You guys can make it out to the event October 14th and 15th of this year. You have a lot of time to prepare for it. This is a very legitimate event. That's why we're giving you so much time to prepare in advance because we're trying to create something special for us all. So thank you guys. Eternal Wallet. This is the future of CC Vault. So what is CC Vault? CC Vault is my favorite Cardano wallet. It's just the best. You know, it's it's quick. It's fast. It makes sense. It's got dark mode now. It everything that they've done to this wallet looks incredible you know it's it's a good design it's built by a community member one thing that i dislike though is the rebranding so originally it was called cc wallet and then they rebranded to cc vault and that was because um there was a, another wallet on bitcoin called cc wallet and today we have another rebrand i had to tell everybody very important this is the best wallet if you haven't uh, you know, used it already, I would use it, especially if you got a Trezor or a Ledger, you plug it right in. You're already on your Roy or Daedalus, you got a Trezor or a Ledger, you plug it right into this wallet, it'll work immediately. It'll bring all of your assets over, all of your stake, because essentially, when you open a wallet from a Trezor, it's viewing your public key, which is a window to what you have on the blockchain. Your money isn't in your wallet, your money's actually on the blockchain, and your mnemonic phrase is the key to open the window to your wallet on the blockchain. So it's the same thing with the Ledger or the Trezor, you know, the public key is what allows you to view it. So you can actually bring over your wallet uh, with no problem. Still stay staked, you know, because all of it, your money's on the blockchain. The rebranding is to Eternal. The future of CC Vault is here. Today, we're excited to announce a new name, a new partnership, and a simplified design. As some of you may remember, last year we started this project as CC Wallet, then renamed as CC Vault with the addition of mobile to our suite of apps since then. As we've been building and scaling with the rate of new apps launching on Cardano, we've been thinking a lot about our brand and the next generation Wallet UI could look like to accommodate both power users and newcomers. That's another thing I like about CC Vault or Eternal now, is how they accommodate for power users. I've sent hundreds of NFTs at a time. How awesome is that? CC Vault now becomes Eternal. Blockchain is forever. <laughs> That's so funny. I just was not expecting that. As it changes the world around us, we felt we needed a brand that represents what we are about, where we're heading, and a broader reach as the Cardano community grows. We've partnered with our friends from Artifact, which Artifact is actually an NFT marketplace that looks pretty cool. You know, it doesn't have as many users as jpeg.store yet, but it looks good. The UI and UX, I'm definitely a fan of. 
From the rebrand to the designing a best-in-class wallet experience across web and modal, we want Cardano to lead the way. And the best way to do that as the community grows is together. Yeah. Over the next few updates, our apps will have a new name and logo. Work on the new UI. More on that soon. We'll begin as we release our latest feature, Staking Vault. Exciting times ahead. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, you made it till the end of the video. I do appreciate you. Type in Eternal down below. Celebrate their rebrand. I'm thinking about switching to shorter and more consistent content, but just as educational. If you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the one yesterday, let me know because we'll make more content like this. But if you guys want shorter, kind of like, uh, you know, copying Army of Spies, you know, maybe a little less, you know, but like Army of Spies, you want that comment Army of Spies down below. I appreciate you guys. Love you. Hope you have a good rest of your week and goodbye.